Hi, welcome to another episode of Axiom TV. I'm your recovering idiot of a host, Jason V. Sarive, aka Brave Mind, the King of the North, also known as the Antichrist. And today we're getting we're delving into a topic that seems to be very taboo in society and is also very awkward or uncomfortable for many to speak of, which is why we're delving into it. And that subject is premature ejaculation. Is there really such a thing? Though men and women both may seek orgasm for the sake of pleasure, to reach the objective truth in this matter, we must be prudent and not base our answer on reflexive emotion. After all, our best decisions are not made when we are over-emotional. And following that logic, our emotions do not determine what is actually true. Remember, the function of sex, even the pleasurable aspects of it, is to ensure reproduction. This is the case even for gay or oral sex. Though reproduction cannot be achieved via such sexual activity. What I mean is the very ability for any such arousal is based off of the function of reproduction, which is one of the reasons I assert that no one is actually born gay. Not fundamentally. It's more of a choice. That said, this would mean that it does not ultimately matter when a male ejaculates. His purpose is to release sperm. His fundamental purpose is to release sperm to fertilize a female's egg for the purposes of procreation. This is why two heterosexual virgins can engage with sex with each other, the male climaxing in seconds after entering the female, and that female, though not experiencing um, an orgasm, though not getting to experience an orgasm, still may become impregnated. She still may become impregnated. This means that premature ejaculation is erroneous, is an erroneous fabrication of our own invention. And also that the very notion is a subjective one based solely on desire rather than any substance. To further illustrate the point, is there an objective time that we can, that is too late to peak when engaging in sex? A post-mature ejaculation, maybe, or an overdue one that a male can have? Well, sure there is. Some males require 30 minutes or more of sexual stimulation just to climax. This is called delayed ejaculation. Though such males won't be accused of being premature, there are females um, among the female population who do not wish to engage in sex for that long of a time period, especially every time they, have se they engage with sex with such a male. Delayed ejaculation males don't even have the option of engaging in a quickie. I think there would be numerous moments in their lifetime that they would at least desire to want to do so. This points to the subjectivity of the matter. We can even go further to substantiate that there's no such thing as premature discharge by performing an experiment. If we poll all heterosexual females who have had sex with multiple partners, to state the ratio of men who ejaculate prematurely to those with delayed ejaculation based on their own based on those females own experience we'd find that untimely peakers vastly outnumber delayed ejaculators without the luxury of utilizing a polling outlet such as Gallup we can be confident in this um, in our, in our estimates by noting premature ejaculation being one of the major sexual complaints of society, of, excuse me, of females in society at large. 
and the lack of challenge to that claim by males. Generally speaking, another noticeable complaint by females is that males ejaculate quicker during vaginal sex than they do during the act of fellatio. When you take all of these considerations into account, it clearly demonstrates that not only is sex primarily based in reproduction, but the fact that copulation can occur so quickly demonstrates that nature left nothing to chance in ensuring, in ensuring that reproduction happens or occurs, slash occurs. Now, ladies, if, if it makes you feel any better, contrary to the popular belief or opinion among you, the most pleasurable part of sex for a male is not necessarily climaxing, but the sensations felt during the act of sex. The climax is just a bonus. When a male meets a female we really like or find the sex that we engage in really pleasurable, we do not desire or hope that the sex ends quickly. In the end, all casual considerations for both male and female, which is pleasure, lose out to the fundamental aspect, which is survival, of the very reason for sex at all. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.